why former NFL cheerleaders have filed suit against the Houston Texans. They claim they were not paid for some of their work and subject to unfair working conditions. They're also not happy with their compensation. $7.25 an hour. Omar Villafranca has that story. Two months ago, Hannah Turnbow announced on social media she was hanging up her red boots and palms. She'd been a Houston Texans cheerleader for a year and gushed about how much she'd loved living out her dreams. Today, alongside her attorney, Gloria Allred, she told a very different story. What I didn't know was being a cheerleader meant being exploited and mistreated and not paid for my time. Turnbow and four other former Houston Texans cheerleaders say they were supposed to be paid $7.25 an hour, but claim they were paid much less and they're suing the team. The organization did not pay us for all of our working activities, including practices, traveling expenses, training camp, and other required personal maintenance expenses. Allred calls it sex discrimination. Women should not have to put up with being paid minimum wage while their male colleagues are paid millions of dollars. These discrimination suits are some of many recently filed by NFL cheerleaders and not just overpaid. Others have pointed to a double standard tied to their weight, their wardrobe, and their conduct, even when they're not on the clock. If you're in a restaurant, you know, you have to leave if a football player comes in. If you were going to Walmart, you had to be presentable just in case somebody recognized you and wanted a selfie. When asked for comment, the Houston Texans issued a statement saying, We are constantly evaluating our procedures and will continue to make adjustments as needed to make the program enjoyable for everyone. It's the same statement the team put out in response to a similar lawsuit. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Dallas.